Yeah, yeah. Just um, also think that, like a few people say, um, once you get one sack, there's more to come. So just getting that first sack, um, it don't even have to be the same game, but it will be better if it was the same game, just get a roll of sacks going on. Um, I'm pretty sure um, it goes for pass rushers as well. Why is, why is it that way? Why is it why is one down the middle? Yeah, um, I don't know. It's just like this adrenaline you have. Uh, once after your first sack, it just keeps coming. Depends on the person, too. Like, I know I'm like that. So whenever um, I know Garrett's like that, he got back there a few more times. Uh, I can't really speak for everyone, but myself. Mm -hmm. What goes into you know the preparation? You're not just facing an offensive tackle, I guess. Yeah, yeah. The one thing is, is you never see those chips coming, uh, especially if it's a running back. You usually see it if it's a tight end. He's right there. He's waiting for you. You can see his eye contact. He's probably looking at you. Sometimes uh, it'll let you know. But um, preparing for those types of games, we are more uh, focused on just going into the uh, the pick. The guy who's giving the pick option or whatever he's coming around try to pick you off or just go into him don't try to shut him away um spin off the inside to the inside use him as a catapult or whatever um those things kind of helped a lot um with the situation just preparing for those types of situations there's a lot more that goes into it um a lot of teams are different they'll get low get you under the rib all that kind of stuff it's, it's like Um, yeah, yeah, it's frustrating, but you know, you just got to focus on the next play. As much as you've prepared in the offseason to be ready for the season, what are some things through the first two games that you just kind of have to go through as you're still getting used to your teammates and you're getting used to how things are going? Um, like, this, what's another? Ask that again, I'm sorry. Just what are some things that maybe the preseason couldn't prepare you for? That okay. You just have to learn? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, going against your own, I feel like there's a lot of different tackles out there, all offensive linemen. From the team standpoint, it's like you have to get used to not only uh, me personally, I have to get used to a whole nother conference, not just a new team. So coming in, um, you're playing a lot of guys who does who do things a lot more differently than the guys in the Big 12. Um, I've gone against these guys in practice often, so I've got to pretty good picture on those guys and just coming out and just playing newer teams it's another whole ball game you know so just getting out there and um, getting a read and just studying these guys and stuff like that getting more um, used to getting off the ball like I have the last game it's it's a work in progress but um, I'm looking forward to everything else in the future The terminology, uh, like, like, um, do you mean terminology and like? Just how you, how you communicate calls. Oh yeah, yeah, all that stuff. It kind of came to me pretty easily throughout the uh, the preseason process, going through fall camp and stuff like that. Um, I had to do a little things, a little bit of things with my play calls of how these newer plays were um, similar to the plays I had at TCU, but they have different names, so. Uh, yeah, so all that stuff went into play. Um, it came pretty quickly because I did my. I talked to a psychologist up here, so she just told me I'd use some type of weird uh, technique or whatever. But um, it, it's all pretty good and set forth. Defensively, you guys have been on the field for a lot of snaps through both of these games. Um, mm -hmm. How does the defense take that? Uh, I mean, is, is it an objective? Obviously, it's an objective to get off the field on third down. But what? what what kind of approach do you guys have to uh, shorten up some of those offense uh, series that you're going against? Yeah, um, I say uh, one thing we do, uh, I know the D-line, from the D-line perspective, we try not to focus too much on what's going on behind us with the other guys um, because that's a lot of work to 
have on your shoulders. Um, so we all kind of try to focus on our, our, our jobs and let the guys behind us focus on their jobs and trying to get work into like in, a, in, a, uh, in sync with each other and try to get off the field as soon as possible. So um, I can't really speak for what the, def uh, the linebackers are doing, the safeties are doing. I can just speak only for like what the D-line is doing. What we're doing is trying to play our gaps, play our seams, don't create vertical seams, um, make, it, make the jobs easier for the linebackers and just play hard. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's a lot of times that um, we are too fast to coming out of our gaps. A lot of the times, the running backs like to go into one gap and wait, and they're pretty twitchy. So they'll wait, and then they'll as soon as you jump out of your gap, they'll find a gap open. So just playing our job—that's what I'm talking about. Then just doing our job and just staying sticking with it, and making the job easier for everyone else out on the field is one of the things we have to work on. Um, sometimes it can be hard, you know, you just, you, I know a lot of guys, they're trying to play to win. Um, we are trying to play, but we can't forget to work together as well. It's kind of hard because once you're in the moment, you know, you want to get off the field as soon as possible, get the offense, the ball back. Um, those times come in different measures to where you are making a bad decision, sometimes a good decision.